Hey everyone, welcome back to Neotrin, where we dive into the latest and most intriguing topics shaping our world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Now in today's video, we're delving into a groundbreaking geoengineering technique that might just be the game changer in our battle against climate change. But before we jump into it, if you haven't checked out my previous video on a sci-fi solution to global warming, titled Solar Sunshade, make sure to catch up after this one. It's an exciting concept worth exploring. In our previous video, we discussed the potential of a solar sunshade to combat global warming. Now, let's fast forward to a new frontier in climate science. Today we're talking about a revolutionary geoengineering technique proposed in a recent article titled, Given the alarm about rising levels of carbon dioxide and methane, it's easy to forget that planal water vapor is a major greenhouse gas too. And guess what? Scientists might have found a way to tackle it. According to the study published in Science Advances, researchers suggest a technique called intentional stratospheric dehydration to cool the planet. Now that might sound like a mouthful, but stick with me. By the way, I'll include the link to the full article in the video description below, so you can dive deeper into the details. The idea is to target rising moist air and seed it with cloud-forming particles right before it crosses into the stratosphere. This intervention is more delicate than previous schemes and could potentially cool the Earth by offsetting about 1.4% of the warming caused by increased carbon dioxide over the past few hundred years. Shuka Schwartz, the lead author of the study and a research physicist at the Chemical Sciences Lab of NOAA, mentioned that this technique might require as little as 2 kilograms of material a week. That's mind-blowing when compared to other massive geoengineering proposals. The process involves injecting cloud-forming particles into specific areas with powerful updrafts, primarily above the western equatorial Pacific Ocean. The most exciting part? The researchers simulated using a non-toxic compound, bismuth triodide, to achieve this, making the process both efficient and environmentally friendly. However, as with any groundbreaking idea, there are concerns. Atmospheric chemist Daniel Tixo from Purdue University cautions about potential risks. If the particles fail to form clouds in the right place, they could have unintended consequences, potentially speeding up the formation of heat-absorbing clouds. It's a delicate balance that requires further study, and scientists like Mark Schoberl emphasize the importance of avoiding unintended consequences and conducting a clear-eyed assessment of implementation costs. Now you might be wondering how this connects to our previous video on the solar sunshade. Well, the openness to explore such innovative climate interventions is growing. With the US Congress mandating NOAA to study solar geoengineering and initiatives like the European Union supporting research into geoengineering governance, it seems the stigma around climate intervention is abating. Countries like Switzerland are even calling on the United Nations to support research in this area, showcasing a shift in the global scientific agenda. As atmospheric physicist Ulrika Lohmann from ETH Zurich puts it, it's clear we're looking for something else. It's our failure as humans to avoid this. So there you have it, a glimpse into a potential game changer in our fight against climate change. What are your thoughts on intentional stratospheric dehydration? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't seen my previous video on the solar sunshade, make sure to check it out. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe for more fascinating content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.